Cruising like this in town. That's when you blacked out. Cruising like this through Sloan. Flipping sexy with whatever wheels I'm gonna do and jet black. No, I reckon that's crayon. This is crayon. Oh, yeah, that's what I like about Porsche. You can actually customize everything. But I think this is ultimate. This is ultimate spec. No, but that's how that's how that's similar to how the GTS will look. Hello people and welcome back to the channel today you join me at Porsche Center wherever we are here because today we are being given a Porsche Taycan to borrow for the next couple of days just to see how I find it because I've been thinking of ordering one so I'm just gonna flip the camera now and show you guys what it's like got Kyle in the car ah it's not even across Turismo is it across Turismo it's a cross turismo, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is the take and for cross turismo. Decent spec. I love the wheels, first of all. It's currently in lift mode because we prefer to drive it that way. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, got a beautiful 911 coming. I've also been considering that. Above that. Oh, 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 oh. I do love that. I do love that. You see the charging point over here. Have you noticed that they've actually got a charging point here? Oh, and then they got one here as well. So, basically, it means if you're cable is too short then it'll stretch you know because you can do it both sides it's kind of lit this one's got the crayon interior with the black inserts which i think looks lovely it's also got the air suspension it's got the bone sound system it's got the pan roof i want to find out if it's got this whole electric aromatic thing but i think it has it's got chrono as well I'm already taking it for a quick drive. I'm gonna take it for an extended drive now. It's got the PDLS Plus, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, overall, it looks pretty sick. We've currently got the car on 191 miles range. So I'm gonna take it out for the next couple of days and see how we get along with the whole range thing. Just open the boot for you now. Lovely boot. I will not be getting across the road, by the way. I'm not. My dad and I do not have kids, so I would not be getting one of those, nor my builder. But um, yeah, I look, I think this looks overall good. I'm gonna let this guy drive, um, you know, and gonna tell us what he thinks, you know. But so far, what are you thinking on the outside, man? Uh, not a fan of the estate, but the wheels are hard. The wheels are hard, innit? The interior combo is nice. Yep. I like the interior a lot. Yep. Well. Would you go for the crayon, just the crayon, or would you go for the crayon with the black inside of this? Crayon with the black like this. Is it? So not just all crayon? No. Yeah. Same for the 911? I about the 911, but for this? You like it the way it is, a bit more modest? Yeah, man. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Those seats are the chips, the seats are the Yeah, yeah, no, this is sick, man. Um, I'm sure we've got loads of other features that we haven't actually covered. It's got folding mirrors, I'm pretty sure. I haven't really checked it. It's got surround view. Oh, Kind of with Do you know what, honestly, I find it's insulting when I see people order it without. I've actually not even checked what's in the front. What's in the front? The front. The front? It's got a boot. What's it saying on the front? It's actually got a front. How do we know? I know you can press some button in, on the inside there. So if you go inside, oh, yeah. press that button there. We'll just open it up for them now. You already opened it, yeah? Yeah. Sweet, let's check it. Let's see what's popping. That struggle right there. I see your struggle still. Raw. Okay, so we've got the charging kit. Okay, so basically if I wanted to charge it at my yard, I could have done that. You had the whole charging thing. Wow, that is flipping lit. Oh, so basically you can just go to your yard, plug it in on some slow charging thing. Mm. Oh, that's all right. And it'll come off your your mum's bill. <laughs> so Mandem, you know, just letting you know, it's got the onboard charger that you can spec from factory and obviously you can just charge at home. I mean, look, I don't really know how I'm gonna get on with the Taycan on a long-term basis, just cause, as you guys know, I've got the SVR right now, which I will be leaving here. But this just looks so good. And you've got the little inserts by the um, wheel arch as well. 
Christmas and hard as well. Which one? Right by the wheel arch. Oh, yeah, you get that. You get something like that in the GTS. Oh, this. Let me see that. It's 290k. <laughs> Bro, you see the finest figures. Three grand a month. Bro, bro, bro. This one needs to be careful, it's isn't it? It's swelled already, you know. It's mad. Like, when they say things want to stop catching that way, you know what happens? Targa or Coop with the error? I think I'm going to have to Coop still. Like one second, second inspection. Like, this is obviously lit. But just imagine this with a wing and in, and, and in my desired colour with the centre lock wheels. Jumping into a race car. Yeah, Taken, I'm pretty sure, but I can't lie. I think it looks flipping sexy with whatever wheels I'm gonna do and jet black color. Black on black. Black on black with white interior. Yep. It's cold. It's cold. This is, this is, it's nicer than the Panamera. Yep. Sure. I think this is just a, it's, it's a guaranteed winner. It's hard. I'm glad you say that. Glad you say that. Glad you say that. It's hard, isn't it? No doubt about it. Lastly, we move on to this Turbo S here in a more muted. Muted. But there you go, you see? It's maybe. Yes, but you see? Even this gives me GTS with Aero Kit vibes. Do you know what I'm saying? And it just makes me feel like I'm jumping into a cooler car. It's a cooler car. It's a cooler car. The Targa's cool. It's a Nino. <laughs> it looks hard in this color, though. Bro. <laughs> yeah, it's got a coupe, man. That coupe is naughty. Amir wants 10 grand of my money today. Doesn't look bang in. I think this is ultimate. This is ultimate spec. No, but that's how the that's how the similar to how the GTS will look. How the GTS will look. It's lit like this. See, I'll be honest, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Like a lot better. Especially this Taken, it drives very similar to an uh, engine car, yeah. like a combustion engine car. Yeah. Even the way when you come off the pedal, it was that engine braking. Yeah. Um, steering is nice and precise. It doesn't really feel that heavy as well. It disguises its weight. Yep. Probably because of the real wheel steering, but it disguises its weight very well. Yep. Um, I'm not gonna lie, fuck with it. And I don't like electric cars. That like, this car is it's sick, lit. very responsive as well. I will say, when you take when you're taking off from standing, you need the fastest electric cars to really feel the same eventfulness as like a. Uh, M4 onwards, that like performance cars, right. C63s, that kind of thing. It gives you a bit more, like, it's more of an event when you take off, unless you get the turbo F type, like you say. Yep. But when you're rolling at speed, it's like, it's instant. It feels like when your turbo spools up, but with no turbo lag, like, like, you can give yourself whiplash. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. But, um, thing is, though, the only thing I say about electric cars or cars like this is that the price of getting the, the electric car you want is the price of buying a supercar. Yes, that is true. However, when you look at it from a business perspective, you can kind of buy it on the business, keep it VAT qualified. Some people will obviously claim the VAT on it. I probably will not claim the VAT on it against all my other costings for the business. Um, so you keep it back qualifying. And then when it, you sell it, you know, you can offset the depreciation against the company, you know, rather than spunking out on company card, on, 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 on corporation tax, yeah. you know. Um, which to me sounds more efficient. And also 200 pounds a week on an SVR. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't do that, man. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I need a car that is 
as interesting and as cool looking as the SVR without the fuel bill. And I feel like that only comes in this form right form. here, electric form. So, you know, that is what I've been feeling. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> And then it's got the electric sound in it, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I can't lie, I love this electric sound. This is yeah, it's, it's just, weird. It's very it, it, I'm almost. You don't sound like an engine at all, but it does. Yeah, like it behaves like an engine. Like when you go on the gas and you come off of it. So you got this sport. But it builds. It gets a bit louder. Might as well give me it. Oh, oh shit! Oh 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 please! Ah! Yo! Yo! Oh! Nice, nice, nice. It actually it behaves like a smaller car. Does. You see what's mad here, yeah? I think it's a good driver, but where the car's silent to a car that's next to us, it doesn't give that's you the, gonna pull out. Yeah. It doesn't give them that warning that we're yeah. coming. So if I'm in the Lambo and I'm about to squeeze past, you know yeah, there's a Lambo you coming, do you know what I'm saying? When I'm in the M4. Yeah. You just put it into M2 mode, put it in the small yeah. plus and it's in its loudest setting and therefore you'd be stupid to move over. Yeah, but with yeah, this yeah. car, you actually don't know. With electric cars, I see it with um, Tesla's all the time. It's only when I start kicking it and I'm not getting any closer to them, I think, bro, I'm blowing. Yeah. I didn't realise how they're blowing until you try and catch them and you realise they're actually gone, there's no sound. So you have to actually pay attention more than... If your window's down, it's not going to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The car's also got sports chrono, which I think is nice as well. You know, when you want to adjust the settings, you use the chrono to put it into range, normal, sport, sport blast, which I think is nice. That four wheel drive will definitely be helping us around this roundabout right now. And one thing we've also got, which I didn't mention, is rear wheel steering, which I think is a flipping trick. Yeah. I think it's so cool. Go left. Oh yes, blast <laughs> into the future, man. Oh shit. Oh, my oh yes. Wow, that 911 is flicking amazing. Yeah, and no lights can get you. you no, see? no, yeah. <laughs> like, if in doubt, put your foot down. If that's doubt, the way I see it. Drag it out. If in doubt, drag it out. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And that's something I love about this car as well, you know? The instant torque compared to the normal combustion engine um, is what I just love about this car as well you know currently got 168 miles I think this would be suitable for me on a day to day you know I think as a town driver most of the time you know you just do your blasting about up and down up and down up and down and then you go home charge up for the night and you come okay. back out next day you know and I think that's what's kind of cool about it really um, so, me personally, I'm feeling it. Yeah, you can that flicking, that rear wheel steering was mad. Oh my gosh. That rear wheel steering, that rear wheel steering was mad. Bro, it gives you so much confidence. Like, I literally feel like the dartiness of my Mini. <laughs> Swear down. <laughs> Just like that, 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 that's really bad in my mini. And this is an estate vehicle, like. Once you're moving, 